Hey everyone, it's Daniel from VoiceFlow. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a chatbot that sends a ticket to Zendesk. So here's a quick demo. I'm going to give them my name. Uh, let's go ahead and add my email. And then um, let's go and share our request. So I'm saying that I'm trying to log into cal.com, which is this beautiful website back here, uh, but it's not letting me. So what's going on behind the scenes here is I'm doing a couple checks and then I actually hit uh, Zendesk's ticket API and send a ticket. So you can see over here, if I go over to our Zendesk um, and just hit a quick refresh on this page, right, you can see that uh, the new support ticket popped up from Daniel, myself, and it's got a bunch of information around it, uh, which is my email and anything else that I included in the ticket itself. And so now if I hop over to VoiceFlow, I'll show you how we built this. So this is the template that we've got uh, for you that you can go ahead and just import into your project. It's super easy. It's got a couple parts here. The first part is capturing their user's name and email. So all this is doing is using the capture step and just capturing the full thing to name and then capturing their email. From there, it's capturing the actual request they have. And then we're doing a bit of a logic check. We wanna make sure that the support request is more than 80 characters, um, that they're giving us enough detail. And so what I've got here is I'm using the condition step. And in here, I have a little expression that says that the question length should be above 79 characters, and if it is, we're going to go to the API. If not, we're going to loop back around. Then with the API step itself, uh, that's in the over here, developer API, and you can see here that this is a uh, full, everything you need from a REST API. So we're making a post call to the Zendesk ticket API, so I've included the link to their documentation here. Um, but what we're doing is you just have to go ahead and put in the right URL. So obviously it's going to be your company, dogzendesk.com, and then uh, you'll see when you open this up, you just have to add in your API key. Uh, and then maybe modify or add anything to the body that you want. The way that we set it up is that it is taking all the variables that are stored here and actually sending them uh, with the body of the API call. After that, we've got a little bit of a routing call in here. And so this is uh, where you can get really powerful with VoiceFlow. In VoiceFlow, you can use the API step to pull in information from your backend databases, or you can even use an API that we have here to automatically do it at the start of the conversation. This lets you pull information like the user's plan type, their name, email, um, how many times they've used your product, anything else that you're actually storing on that side, and then build it into your product and put them down different flows. So you can see here, we've got a path for enterprise and we've got a path for um, non-enterprise users. So this is actually what we do in our uh, support app down here um, and lets us be really, really customized, flexible, and very powerful uh, for our users. So go ahead, give us a try. Uh, let us know if you need problems. You can also message us via our own support chat over here um, that uh, I'll actually show you what this looks like. So yes, a uh, specific project, it actually is able to pull my project type and it's actually able to uh, do all these checks that I showed you. So again, super powerful once you start getting into it, uh, but let us know if you have any issues. Uh, if not, we're excited to see what you build.